Welcome to our RMSO Roundtable Drive, Dirt Road Roundtable Drive. We're on top of a mountain out near Salmon, Idaho because of the Bigfoot sightings. As a matter of fact, we're coming up on a lake where there's been a couple of them. It's called Wallace Lake. Anthony Moffat took his... Uh, YouTube down a couple of years ago, but um, he interviewed a Bigfoot sighting report witness up here that told about his uh, Bigfoot experience up here at this lake. But we're um, on what's called Ridge Road. We're on, pretty much on the top of the mountain here. And this weather's come in on us. Yes, sir bleeding and snowing. You can see it up in front of us. We're going to hit another patch of it. We just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a section that we're bigfooting on. We want to look around uh, that lake since there's been a couple of sightings there and see if we can see any Bigfoot activity around here. Oh, this is a cloud. Driving through a cloud. And then down in the valley on both sides of this mountain there's uh, Bigfoot sighting reports. Um, Panther Creek, North Fork Salmon, the River of No Return. The areas that are accessible around the River of No Return Wilderness, we, we find ourselves in the places on the edge of that. A lot of people see Bigfoot on the outskirts of that. Makes you wonder if the Bigfoot live inside the River of No Return, the, wild, the remote stuff that you can't drive into. And every once in a while on the outskirts, people will see them. But that's a place to go where you, they're not going to be uh, bugged and badgered. You can't take any motor vehicles. You either have to take a boat, and of course the river don't go everywhere. Or you have horse. to, yeah, foot or horse. Nothing with the wheel. You're not even supposed to have a bicycle. No. Frank Church Wilderness is the other name of it. Yeah, we're on the outskirts of that. Yeah, this road is kind of balanced up on top of a mountain peak. Sometimes we're on the left side of it, sometimes we're on the right of it. We weren't even gonna. We weren't even gonna do one of our uh, roundtable drives, but with this inclement weather, we want to show you guys the stuff that we go through to search for this creature. <laughs> this area needed this storm bad. It has been so dry and so many forest fires here and, and and surrounding areas that this is a welcome sight the snow hell and the rain we dropped over into montana yesterday and we we're on our way to darby and we passed connor and they, the road to connor was blocked off because there was a big huge forest fire back in there yeah hopefully this is helping put it out today Definitely is not hurting. <laughs> it rained pretty hard this morning before the sun come up too.
only 39 degrees out there. It's so weird. We've seen everything today. We've been in t-shirt weather in the sun. We've been in raincoat in the rain. And it's semi-snowing up here. <laughs> Silly. You can tell how dry it's been the last couple of months because uh, this moisture's just getting sucked right up by the ground. Yeah, the dirt doesn't even look wet. Yeah, this morning when we were getting ready to come up here and leave camp, where the car was parked and stuff on some gravel and dirt, I noticed that, you know, an hour after it had rained, it was all completely dry. It just sucked it right up. Long way, ways away from saturation. <laughs> What's crazy, uh, when a couple of years ago, three, four years ago, whatever it was, when Anthony was up here filming the witness, interviewing him, at the Bigfoot sighting, Jenny and I, I mean, what are the odds we happened to be here the same dang weekend, and we were here because of other Bigfoot sighting reports, and about a week after we got home, I noticed that Anthony posted a a Bigfoot video for Wallace Lake and I'm like what well, we were just right there so I went and looked and you know saw the guy's story here and I'm like cool another person had saw it there and then I got a hold of Anthony and is like when were you guys up there and he told me and I'm like holy crap <laughs> <laughs> we were there at the same time. it's funny we could have easily bumped into each other but yeah two different Bigfoot groups up at the same place because of the sightings. Kind of shows you that this area is a Bigfoot sighting hot spot. We actually filmed an eagle snatching a fish out of the water and flying up into some trees and eating the fish when we were here, here that day. Fish under the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're here for Bigfoot, and I, I never pass up the opportunity to film or photograph wildlife. Documenting the animals that are in Bigfoot sighting hot spots. Yeah, I wish Anthony would have left up his videos, even though, you know, he gave up on the... On his Bigfoot hobby. He had some good videos, like that guy's. But yeah, he, he took everything down. gets a hold of me every once in a while by the way it, it's still a hobby of his but not like back in the day when he was running a YouTube channel
looks gnarly. Yeah. It's not gonna be able to. This road's getting more and more uh rough. Rocky road. This was springtime, and everything saturated from the winter of rain, snow, melt off. I would probably not come up here in a storm, but because this is at the end of the season and everything's been so dry, I just realized that it's it's not going to stand on top of the ground and cause us much of a problem. down like this the animals usually move around a little bit more during the daytime I think your chances of seeing a squatch is better on a day like this been so long since we've been up here I didn't remember that the road was this rough <laughs> it also didn't seem that rough if we were in the Jeep driving back into some of that stuff.
I remember the year that we were here. We were here on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. When we come up to this lake. It was the 4th of July because we dropped off the mountain all the fire fireworks are going on. Yep. We went down into Salmon and watched the fireworks from the bridge. We also watched the mountain start on fire. <laughs> oh, it was the craziest thing, you guys. Um, we're on the bridge over the Salmon River uh, where you can walk across the bridge. And that's where Jenny and I sat and watched them because there was two different spots that they were uh, launching uh, commercial fireworks on either side of the bridge. So it was a great spot. And then some people up on the mountain started the mountain on fire, yeah. setting off their fireworks. Yeah. And the fire department, just a couple of blocks away from where we were watching fireworks, they go up the mountain and put out the fire. And while they're up there putting the fire out, the, and I, I kid you not, these people that accidentally started the fire, they were still launching fireworks right next to the firefighters up there putting it out. I mean... And they continued lighting them off, and the firefighters came back down the mountain. Uh-huh. It was the, <laughs> so, it was the strangest thing you would think once you started a fire like that. It's like, yeah, we're done, but... Yeah, they let them keep doing the fireworks, and they continued. It was... Bizarre. Yeah. It was, I know where I come from. That would have been dill done. All right, you started a fire, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> There's all these little perfect Christmas trees up here. No, it's only 37 out there. I cannot believe how much the temperatures dropped today. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of places around here. If you got the permit, you can harvest wood. They usually mark the... Um, the diseased or uh, dead, dead or, or beetle trees, and people can come and they're just a fire hazard. So might as well use them for firewood. If you guys see something in the forest that we missed, let us know. My eyes are mostly on the road. And Jenny can only be looking one direction at a time, so... We could very well miss something. Plus the creature blends in so dang well, you could be looking right at it and... and not see it. We were up here, we parked up on a ridge, we got out, and we were taking pictures and, and whatnot, and then we started hearing some something in the forest. So Kelly started clicking, taking pictures, down where we could hear the noise. Mouth popping noises. Yeah, and uh, we didn't see anything at the time, but when we got home, you could kind of see this weird face looking out from the trees. Out from under a log, like it was laying under a log looking up at us. It's kind of weird.
gonna be crawled to the top of the peak of the mountain right there and stick a stick in it. <laughs> <laughs> stick a fork in it and call it done. Mm -hmm. Jenny and I went back to Panther Creek to do a night investigation because of the Bigfoot sighting there. And not only has there been a Bigfoot sighting in that area, um, a guy out hiking found some really nice Bigfoot tracks in the same area. We went out to do a night investigation and we're, we just barely got into it at dark. And all these raccoons come down on the hillside running beside the car, around the car. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> and uh, they probably stuck with us for about 30 seconds surrounding the car. And of course, we're on a dirt road like this where we couldn't go very fast. And so they were keeping up with the car. And and then that, the whole, I mean, there was like six of them, maybe more. And then they finally take off into the forest. And uh, it was really cool and everything. But I was thinking, gosh, what if they descended upon us like that and we were on foot, you know, would just wondered about the scenario, if they would have just stayed away from us or if they would have pestered us. I mean, I've seen uh, on that show, I Was Prey, where people have been attacked by raccoons, so just never know. Yeah, they're considered medium-sized predators. Yeah. They can get and pretty big. They're usually not a danger to people unless you corner them, but I've, I've seen where they've attacked people for no provoca provocation. No. Now, some girl that got bit up by one, her, it and it, her dog went to protect her, and it was biting on her dog, and so she got involved to help, and then it latched on her. and So, yeah, they both had to have rabies shots. Her and her dog. Another lady was trying to save her dog from the raccoon and it bit her arm so hard it broke her arm. It broke her arm. Yeah. It just shows you that you know a raccoon can be a, a tough adversary if you catch it on the wrong day. And of course if they do have rabies, animals kind of go whacked out at the end. An easement with power lines. Oh my gosh. Now I think, isn't it Bobo that says these are Bigfoot highways? <laughs> yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you know, the path of least resistance. Yeah. I would assume that an animal, well, yeah, look, there's an animal trail right there. Yeah. Elk, deer, as much, and that's where all the grass is. Yeah, I've seen where uh, elk, deer, and even barrel use uh, dirt roads like this to travel. Old Leesburg Road, historical route. Hmm. If we decide to come back this way from the lake, I may go down that. Boulders. And that was the top of the mountain. 
right there. Giant oh boulders gosh, up here. Big old granite that. boulders, aren't they? Wow. Wow. Turn the camera. Can they see it? Um, it's not gonna get that. It's too far up the hill. It's bigger than our car mm -hmm. or our truck or whatever they call them. That should be. Just a second. I hear voices. We must be close to the lake. Do you hear the voices? At least, at least hopefully those are human voices. <laughs> So cold out there. Yeah, it's chilly. Now, we didn't know what to expect the first time we came to to Wallace Lake, and going through all these dirt roads, and some of them are really crappy, and on top of a mountain, and it's there's a pay campground at the lake with some decent facilities and it's just you just sometimes don't expect that if you've never been to a location and I was like oh wow out in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. so anyways it uh, there's two things that take it takes to have a Bigfoot sighting there has to be a Bigfoot there and there has to be a person there to see it and so this lake is set up with uh, camping facilities, people fish here and stuff. So it attracts people here, especially during the summertime. 
and so that's another reason that makes it a Bigfoot sighting hot spot is people. You, you get the people here <laughs> to actually see the Bigfoot. <laughs> and it, it takes a couple hours on the dirt road to get here. Mm -hmm. It's, in my opinion, it's worth it. This is a great place to come camp. Yeah, you got to be a committed camper to get into a spot like this. And Jenny and I will travel for miles places like this, and we have to freaking... Uh, There's nothing. <laughs> yeah, we have to camp out in the dirt with our tent and, uh, you know, set up our own campsite, go go set up a porta potty and, and all that. So it's nice when you can come into a remote place like this that's a hot spot and there's facilities. It goes to show that Bigfoot doesn't necessarily avoid a, a pay campground in the boonies People, if, if people are seeing it around that lake. It wants fish too, maybe. I thought I could smell cooking just now. Curious to see how many people are here. I've known all week that this storm was coming in last night and today. So, see how many people uh, were willing to brave the storm and come up here and camp. Uh, hiked around those. That's that. Yeah, we've hiked at this exact spot. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We There's saw something cool and decided to pull off the side here, and we did a big hike. I remember now. Yeah. All right. I thought I could hear people voices when we stopped back there and got out and walked around and yeah. now I realize there ain't no people around. <laughs> just strange. Uh, I can't remember what it was that got us out hiking around here the last time but isn't that weird where we hear the voices in the forest close to where we hiked around the last time? Yeah, that had to have been at least six years ago that we did that. If I was home and had all my footage, I would just go back through and look at my footage and figure out the exact date we were here. Whenever July 4th hit on a Saturday, somewhere between now and the last six years or so. <laughs> Over the last six years, July 4th probably only hit on a Saturday like once. Okay, that really trippy, those weren't people voices. I thought maybe we were right by the lake, but we're not even close to the lake yet, it appears. Weird. Did you hear the voices too? I just thought they were camping. It sounded like people having a nice time laughing and uh -huh. yelling to each other. But I couldn't make out exactly what anybody said. No, it just sounded like they were far away.
maybe there was a group of people on a hiking trail or something. Maybe. Just, we haven't seen any vehicles for a long time. No, there's people cutting wood. Yeah, and the reason I thought they were cutting wood is because uh, they had uh, they had gas cans sitting next to their vehicles, so I just assumed they were for their chainsaws. in the clouds now, it looks like. That sign back there was weird. It was the... Uh, Pointed to Moose Creek and there was no trail or no road. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stock where you push your stock down. It said it was a stock trail, but you just use your horses to push your cattle down there. Yeah, it looked pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, if there is a trail, I couldn't make it out. It hasn't been used in a while.
I've had too much coffee today. It upset my tummy. Oh. <laughs> We haven't passed up one car besides those two uh, cotton firewood. There may not be anybody up here today. I brought a raincoat also. And more socks. I actually got two raincoats. I got my emergency one I keep in my backpack and then I brought just a normal one that I wear all the time because I knew that we were going to have some rain. We've had rain, snow, and hell today. Okay, this lake is way too far away for me up me to be able to blame the voices I heard on people at this lake. Yeah, if they were actually people voices. I know, it's bugging me. <laughs> You know, it, you, you never know, uh, a little pod family of two, three, Bigfoot, whatever, sees some, a couple of humans in the area, are they mimicking stuff that they've heard from humans? Like, like I thought I heard some laughter and some, some talking. Because I wouldn't imagine their voices sounding like ours. See what the elevation is here. Already dropped a couple hundred feet. We're at eight thousand feet elevation. That's not it's not the highest point we've been. No. It's just uh, where Wallace Lake is. seen anybody camping here yet. It's only four bucks to camp here. Wow, that's cheap. I'm in, no. in picnic or look for Bigfoot. <laughs> no, but if you're a senior, it only costs two dollars. Two dollars to camp. Mm -hmm. I can see why it's so dang cheap. It's like so remote. It's like, yeah, your reward mm -hmm. for coming out here is it's going to be cheap. <laughs> um, this is even getting weirder. We hear those voices, and I just assumed it was people at the lake, because it's really the only place up here for people to congregate. And so far, we haven't found any people here. It's getting weirder and weirder.
I thought we would at least see one set of people. Well, we're not done yet. We might. Yeah. I think the storm kept people away. We're the only ones crazy enough to come up to in this stuff in a storm. Nobody here. Well, so who knows what those voices were and the laughter. This lake was way too far away from where we heard all that, even if people were here. Wow. All right, well, we're going to end this um, roundtable drive video. Jenny and I, as you guys can see, the lake isn't huge. We're going to circle this lake and look for Bigfoot evidence. And there's nobody camping here. I mean, it's a remote place. It's, it takes a long time to get into here, and the road sucks. <laughs> but anyway, we see anything cool, we'll give you guys a link in the description of this video. Or we'll just put it at the end of this video. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching. I need both my coats. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Yeah. This is so neat that we're here by ourselves. I expected there to be a camper or a set of camper or two up here. I'll bet you that rain this morning, anybody that decided to tough it after the rain this morning, they're like, yeah, we better get off the mountain. And then, and then crazy us, oh. here we are.